Hello, this is Mr. Lavery. Um, I am going to talk about diabetes today. Um, my, I've been, I was trained when I was your age on diabetes. Um, and um, when I went to Penn State Brandywine, it was then called Penn State Delco. The hallways and the buildings were very similar to Intergrown. So um, one of the things was I was going down the hall and this girl comes out of the bathroom and I was probably about 50 meters away and she had a needle out of her arm. I was like, oh my gosh, Penn State kids, they're hardcore. And she's leaning up against the wall and she stumbles into a doorway of a classroom, much like ours at Interboro. And I'm like, hey, hey, you okay? My name's Bill, can I help you? She's like, sugar. Right then and there, I knew she was having a diabetic reaction and she wasn't doing drugs. So I knocked on the door because there was a class. I'm like, this girl needs help. She needs sugar. A teacher, a professor is like, that's my student. She runs over. She gets hard candy. We put it in her mouth. In about 30 seconds to two minutes, she was good. Saw her in the, the common lounge. Um, yeah, that's the cool thing about colleges. They have common lounges. Um, and she's just chilling. I was like, hey, you, you all right? I was the guy that helped you. She's like, yeah, this happens all the time. I'm like, well, that probably ain't good. So with diabetes comes a lot of responsibility. Um, there's two types of diabetes, diabetes type one and type two, and both have to watch their diet, watch their sugars. Um, and type one is pretty much insulin dependent because their body's not making enough of insulin. The thing is, when we see someone having a diabetic emergency, it could be like a sudden illness. They could be having anything wrong with them. We don't know. They could be dizzy or shaky, headache. They might demonstrate cold and moist skin. It could be irritable, aggressive, or argumentative. Um, I get that way when I get angry, confused, or disoriented. And worse, they could lose consciousness, have a seizure, um, or both. Um, and we can actually see um, women who develop diabetes during pregnancy. Um, so diabetes is due to one of two things. Either they don't have insulin, enough insulin to mo moderate their sugars, there's too much sugar in their system. So if the person is responsive and we go up to them like, hey, are you okay? They're like, no, you know, I'm diabetic. I need sugar. We got to get them sugar. Okay. Nothing diet. Okay. Something that's quick and easy to swallow. Um, juice is good. Peanut butter jelly sandwich if they're really conscious. Hard candy, but something that can be absorbed through their mouth preferably. So always check the label on the package products to determine um, how much of the package's contents to give. And then you want to go through sample, okay? Um, now, obviously, if a person's unresponsive or they cannot swallow or they do not feel better after taking sugar um, or you can't find sugar, you need to call 911 right away. So if I see an adult on the ground unconscious, that's a call for a situation. If I see an adult that's conscious, right, like I have to go, hey, are you okay? Can I help you? And all of a sudden, if they say I'm diabetic, this becomes a care for a situation. All right. If somebody's with me, they could call 911. They could call the school nurse. But we need that sugar. And quite frankly, somebody who's diabetic should have ready um, glucose tablets with them or some form of sugar with them. Okay. If you have any questions, please message me. We're going to go through diabetes. You're going to do some reading. Um, and then that's that. Have a good day.